A festive atmosphere on the floor of the Hong Kong Stock Exchange Friday for a bittersweet farewell party. Traders gathered to say goodbye to the city's historic trading hall. It's shutting down having outlived its purpose in this day of electronic trading. This trading floor opened in 1986. In its heyday, of 1,400 traders in the requisite red vests crowded into the booths. One former trader said back then, you needed a loud voice, a clear memory, and a good relationship with other traders to get deals done. They shouted through the 1987 Black Monday crash, the dot-com bubble, the SARS outbreak, and other historic market events. Electronic trading introduced in 1993 marked a shift away from those face-to-face -face deals. And a major upgrade in 2000 that let brokers offer services online made floor trading obsolete. Recently, only about 30 traders could be found on the floor on any given day, and the atmosphere was definitely more subdued. Still, Friday's event was tinged with nostalgia. Of course it's a shame. I grew up here. I've been here since the start. It's a big shame. After all, this is Hong Kong's local culture and part of our heritage. Of course it's better if we have it, but if we don't, we still have to look forward. The closure of the Hong Kong trading floor means the New York Stock Exchange is the only one among major world stock exchanges to still have a floor. Hong Kong exchange officials don't want their city's history as a commercial and financial hub to be forgotten. Once the traders move out, renovators will move in to remake the space into a museum and conference and exhibition center. We all look into the future. We're going to convert this into something that not only reminds us of the great memories and the great history that we have had, but also allow us to proceed into the future and allow this place, right in the heart of Hong Kong, to become a real landmark of the financial community in Hong Kong. The Hong Kong Connect Hall will reopen in February. Katie Sargent, CGTN.